Tampa Bay's Morning Crew brings you the second date update on 99.5 QYK. Well, April sounds super bummed right now because she has not heard back from her date, Greg. Uh, they sound like they had a, a good time. Well, yeah, they went to Whiskey Joe's, which is right on the water, beautiful place. But she said the food was good. They talked a lot. The date was good, but she can't figure out why. And I'm just trying to sit here and think in my head. I'm like, well, it's spring break right now. And I, I drove by Whiskey Joe's like two weeks ago and it was packed. I'm like, so maybe it was something to do with it just being so busy or something. I don't know. All right. But she said um, she said it was fun, and, and they talked and got along really well. So Yeah, she's just kind of bummed out right now, so we're going to try to call uh, Greg and see if we can get her on the phone, get her some answers. Hello? Hi, good morning. Is this Greg? Uh, yeah, this is Greg. Hey, Greg, how you doing? This is Jr. and Lana and Kevin here at Tampa Bay's Morning Crew on 99.5 QYK. Oh, radio station. Yeah, that's what? us. What can I do for you? I know this is random, man. We wanted to call yeah. you actually to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Uh, we know you went on a date with a girl recently, and we wanted to see if we could talk to you about that date. Uh, okay. Do you remember <laughs> April? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember April. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Let, I was just tell you what April said uh, to us. He said she told us you guys met on Match. dot com. You guys went to Whiskey yeah. Joe's, had a great time there, and I guess she texted uh, you when she got back home safe, and you did the same. And she was looking yeah. for another date. Like, hey, this is going to happen again. I felt like things went well. Nothing from you since. What's the deal, man? Yeah. I, I, no, I don't think anything's going to happen again. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let, let me tell you why. Um, April is one of the most negative people I've ever met. And just the entire night, every every conversation we had, she had a negative spin on it. Like, every single time. Well, like, what do you mean? Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, my parents were teachers growing up. So I'm telling her about my, my dad and my mom being teachers. And she goes, oh, yeah, so they were teachers. That means you did have a lot of money growing up, right? Ooh, what? My mom was a teacher. Right? <laughs> Jeez. And, you know, I was like, well, my dad's a professor, but sure. I, I let that one slide, but then later on, you know, we're talking, and I was like, you know, I was born and raised in California. And she goes, oh, yeah, well, that's, that's all going to fall off into the ocean pretty soon. I mean, <laughs> that whole area is sinking. She is from California, I was too. Born, I was born in California, yeah. Uh, yeah nothing yeah. has fallen off yet. We're all good. <laughs> Um, I'm not too worried about it, you know. It's just, it's right. Just, so I was just like, oh, wow, that's kind of jarring in the negative way of looking at things. I guess eventually, yeah, the sun's going to burn out, but no one talks about it. That's weird. So yeah. that that kind of threw me for a loop, too. You know, it's just everything that I had to say, she just had a very negative spin on it. Huh. You know, it was, yeah, I, I, I couldn't get past it. Like, literally anything I can mention, she found, like, the negative part of it. Well, I I mean, I can see why you would have been kind of turned off by that then. Well, yeah. I mean, given everything that's happened over the past year, it's like the last thing I want is more negative energy, more people who just look at things it's like from the worst perspective possible. <laughs> you know, and then she started talk she talking about COVID and how dangerous it is and how many people are dying. I'm just like, oh my gosh, can we like take a break from this and just yeah have a civil conversation where like we talk about things that don't remind us of everything awful in the world, you know? <laughs> Did she ever talk so, about anything happy? I tried, puppies. Puppies, always, puppies <laughs> butterflies. You know, like, oh, yeah, well, butterfly won't live that long. You know, stuff like that. You know? <laughs> like, I know that she'd say that. Average lifespan is only two days or something, I, something crazy like that. Uh, I want to let you know that we actually have April with us on the phone. I want to get her response on this. Sorry, Greg. I hope it's a positive one. Uh, April? Yeah. Did that sound like something you might say, or did you did you make those comments? Is that accurate? or? Oh, yeah, I did, but I didn't think that was an issue. I mean, I'm just speaking the facts of life. I thought we were just talking, not being negative. You can say it's being negative, but I'm just telling you facts. There's facts are facts. I, I know facts are facts, but my parents live in California. You said they were poor, and then you said they're going to drown in the ocean. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not my fault that your parents chose to be teachers. And Oh, my gosh. I mean. Oh, my God. What? I don't. I mean, that's, I don't even think you know if he grew up poor or not, right? I mean, that didn't even probably come up, right? You're just assumed, first yeah. of all. And by the way, who cares all, you're if, you're, if you're if your parents do something? Like my mom was a teacher. Okay, we didn't grow up with a ton right. of money, but we were fine, and that's a respectable job. Obviously, we're very appreciative of our teachers. So, I mean, do you see how that'd be a very negative thing to say to someone whose parents are a teacher? 
I mean, if, if you want to take it that way, right. But I mean, I'm not the type of person to sugarcoat things. I'm going to tell you, tell you how it is. Honestly, you're you're probably the biggest Debbie Downer I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a really positive response. <laughs> Thank you for for that, Greg. Oh, well, now it's me because I tried to gear the conversation towards something positive many times, and again, you found the worst possible outcome of whatever I said, no matter what. Well, I thought we had a great time, but I guess we didn't. <laughs> no, no. I hope you don't go on many dates like that. And if so, I don't know how you're getting called. Well, I, mean, oh, well, I was, was going to ask you, is this a deal breaker for you then? I mean, are you not willing to go back out with April and maybe she, you know, switched it up a little bit? Would you be willing to go on? No, I, well, I don't think that she was going to apologize just now, but she just said, hey, that's the way it is. Those are the facts. So, no, I'm not going to huh. subject myself to that. All right. April, I'm sorry we don't have more positive news for you right now. Oh, that's uh, what you did yeah, there. Uh, but apparently it just wasn't vibing the way you thought it might have been vibing, and Greg's going to go a different direction here. That's fine. If that, that's how it has to be, that's how it has to be. Okay. Look, just listen to your voice. You're so, even the way you talk is just so... <laughs> what, what, you're like Eeyore. All right. <laughs> let's, not, let's not call each other Eeyore. And then, uh, I'll just jump in here right now and say, Greg, thanks for coming on the phone with us. April, thanks for reaching out. <laughs> I'm sorry it's not going to work out, guys. Uh, I wish you both luck. Meditators. Yeah. Eeyore. Eeyore. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh.